Hi there! In the latest release, our search has gotten a huge update. Now let me quickly show you what's new. Let's search Germany. What you will notice first is that there's sections now in the search results. These represent different sources of data. And the second thing, we got instant previews in the preview map down below. For OpenStreetMap features, the data can get very large. There's not enough time for a quick preview. In this case, GeoLayers is going to display this bounding box representation. But as you download the feature to the browser, it will get its full geometry, of course. Let me remove this for now. Uh, the second big thing is you can now search for whole data sets. For example, I can type in countries here and I'm going to get the country's data set from the browser downloads. When I click it, it will get downloaded to my browser. Like this, you've got quick access to all the data sets that you can find here. You can also use the search for remote data. For example, by typing in COVID, you can get the latest COVID-19 case data. Let me download this for Germany here. There we go. And don't forget that you can also search features by coordinate. So the same applies for this type of search. But let me show you the real power of this search. So I'm going to open up the preferences. I'm going to scroll down a bit to the feature search section. Now this looks a bit complicated, but let me talk you through this. The feature search now can have multiple sources and each source is represented by a block in this list. Uh, the first thing, we got our browser downloads. When I downloaded the countries, for example, you can drag these blocks on top. And if I did that and type in countries again, this will be the first result in my list, according to where I dropped the block. Let's go back to the prefs. Each block has basic settings. For example, to use the source for the search by name and the search by coordinate, or only one of them. You can also specify the max search results that will appear. Some sources have additional options. For example, Natural Earth can give you inner boundaries feature and also all states of the country that you search for. The cool thing is that we can add our own sources. So if I'm going to click the little plus here, another block will appear and I can choose a type of source here. Naminatum, which is OpenStreetMap search engine, MapTiler search engine, Natural Earth. Um, we can search the feature browser, so everything that you have in the browser will appear in the search bar. Uh, the browser downloads, which is um, the country set that I just showed. But we could also add a file here. If I'm going to select that one, uh, you can specify uh, either a URL or a local path. I'm going to select the GeoJSON and now GeoLays is going to search for name and for coordinate in this file. So again, I'm dragging this on top here, hit apply. And as I type Krim, for example, I can see the file as a source and I can see the feature. But that's still not all. There's more to come. So I'm going to go back to my preferences here. And I'm going to add another block. I'm going to switch that one to GitHub repo. There's this awesome repo by Andre Rednik, uh, which is called Historical Base Maps. And inside this repo, we've got like a whole bunch of GeoJSON files. What we can do is we can copy this URL and simply paste it here. GitHub recently changed its default branch name from master to main. GeoLayers will by default look for the main branch. Uh, but a lot of older repos still have their default branch called master. And if that's the case, simply type in master here and you're good to go. And if I'm going to hit apply, I can search this repo. So I'm going to type in the year 1945 and I'm going to get from the repo we just specified a GeoJSON. And if I click it, it's going to be downloaded like that. I can simply highlight 
East Germany, for example. Last but not least, with the folder source type, you can also pick a whole directory. And now GeoLayers will search for file name inside this directory. Note that a few of the sources do not support a search by coordinate. I hope you like the new search. As always, let us know what you're missing. Bye.